Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we'll be covering a quick and user-friendly void world build that can enhance the Kinetic Tremors perk for all types of content. This new perk has rapidly become popular with the community and I want to show off a simple build that you can use with it for even more ease of use and damage. This is only world based, but if people want to see a Hunter and Tidal version, then by all means do mention this in the comment section below. So, to start, you're going to want to have the Chaos Accelerant, where your grenades can be overcharged for a different effect. Then you want to charge your gods, where upon creating a rift, you'll create a Void Soul. Damaging a target with Void Soul will drain them and give you back grenade, melee, class, ability, and health for the user. The plan here is to use Seeking Filament effect and combine that with Child of Your Gods effect to create a non-stop death zone that will slow, suppress, and weaken all in one. With this, we can nab a tough enemy via our grenade or Child of Your Gods and then use our weapon with Kinetic Tremors to inflict even more damage to those caught within it. Ideal for Legend Above content. The fragments used are Echo of Remnants where your lingering grenade duration are extended, Echo of Harvest where defeating a weakened target with precision final blows creates orbs of power and void breach, and Echo of Undermining which provides users a 15% grenade debuff. A leaning into Child of Your Gods as mentioned, we want to slow the enemies down into a small funnel so that we can proc Kinetic Tremors effects more often and also nab a higher amount of enemies in one go. Doing this now will lead back into our other abilities and also allow us to mix and match the weapons being used to enhance this area further if we desire. If done correctly, you should be able to get your rift back with a damage buff and thus repeat the process as many times as you like. For the mods and stats section, we can keep this area pretty light as you only need to have your recovery at tier 10 and your discipline at tier 6 to 10. The main one you want to focus on is the recovery speed as this, combined with Seeker Filaments and Old Gods Effect is what will sustain the build for long. If you can't reach tier 10 recovery then do not worry as tier 7 to 8 is also fine to go with as long as you make use of the Old Gods Effect where if it has a kill it will grant you Rift Energy back. On top of that, mods such as Bolstering Detonation and Distribution will massively help with aiding you further. We also have the Void Breach effects as well from our Fragment which can also give us a percentage back from simply collecting one so all of this will be enough to keep an ongoing flow of fifths at your disposal. Your Discipline at Tier 7 is also fine to keep how it is as we can make use of the Frontal Discipline mod which will provide us with a plus 30 to the current stat we have. You can also use the Bomber mod as well for backup energy as it's cheap to slot in and quite generous with the amount it provides. After that, you are left with armor charges to deal with, so having two charged up mods will expand how many charges we can carry once we collect an all power. After that, having the fire power, I can excite for mod will further help create orbs of power at a faster rate for us. All of this will be built into the Kinetic Weapon Surge mods times 3, which will provide us a 20% damage boost for as long as we keep our charges up and going. Combine that with the time dilation mod, damage rift, and debuffs being applied. We can do some serious damage with the build against even Grandmaster Confident Combatants. Now lastly, the weapons being used do have to be a weapon that had Kinetic Tremors on it. Now if you were lucky enough to do the Hung Jury GM week, then you should have gotten a number of these versions with all different types and gold balls to go after. I was lucky to get the following after my second run, and it has been great to use in pretty much all content of your choosing. The damage and range that HJ offers combined with the following perk allows the weapon to excel really well in endgame content and also makes it undoubtedly one of the best kinetic weapons to get this season just for the strength and pros it offers. Now of course don't worry if you didn't run the GM version to get the adept type as you can get the battle scar, normal hung jury, named as midnight and even the buzzard with the following perk as well. It just might take a bit of farming to do so. I would also recommend the Dermatistic Chaos Void Exotic as this can also apply a debuff to targets as well but at distance. This alone allows the whole of the build to play safe at long distance but still inflict high damage from all sources provided. It can also trigger Egg of Harvest effects so keep that in mind. So overall, it's a nice conclusive build that many Warlock users can have fun with. It allows users to keep their distance on the more harder content while also providing them a huge boost in damage and pure destruction for the enemy side of things. Applying what we have will give us a hefty damage boost that's not overkill but reasonable enough to take on a Tormentor or Champion on the higher difficulty without the need of additional weapons to help. 
I've always wanted a weapon perk like this to be introduced to connect weapons as a whole, as elemental primary weapons tend to offer more when it comes down to perk options, and perks such as Volt Shot, Destabilizing Rounds, and Incandescent have made them even more powerful when combined with a selected subclass. Although connects don't get the same option, the introduction to perk does make selected connected weapons sought after by many players who want to use the connects more often. But thanks to this perk and its strength, it's pretty easy to build around it with our subclasses, and this example as shown is one of the method of doing so. If you want to see me do more builds around this perk and what best build around them, then leave a comment below, like mentioned, and I'll see what I can cook up. But what do you think about today's video? Did you enjoy it? Let me hear you in the comment section. So there we have it. I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on content shared, then please leave a comment below. But at the same time, if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and a sub while here. I will leave a dim link for the build below. And if you want more stuff like this, then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all. I hope to see you again soon.